She was born Viola Irene Davis, on July 6, 1914, in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada, to James Albert Davis and Gwendolyn Irene Davis. She belonged to a large family with ten children. Her father, who worked as a stevedore before opening a barbershop, was black, while her mother was white. Her parents were highly regarded and active among the black community in her hometown. Viola took up a teaching job in a school for black children. However, she wanted to address the needs of the black community by introducing beauty products for people with dark skin. Since people of African descent were not allowed to join beautician training in Viola's hometown, she moved to Montreal, Atlantic City, to start training as a beautician at the Field Beauty Culture School and finally completed her training from one of Madame C.J. Walker's beauty schools in New York. She had a sister named Wanda Robson, who later wrote a book about activism in the family, titled Sister to Courage, highlighting the life of Viola. Viola Desmond was a Canadian citizen of mixed race, who championed the cause of equal rights for people with dark skin, in early 20th century. Her father was black and her mother was white, which was not very common in Canada in those days. Though Canada had no laws that segregated the black people from the white, it was a norm for the blacks to not mix with the whites. Her husband was black and worked as a barber. Viola wanted black women to have access to beauty salons and beauty products that were only available to white people at that time. She completed her beauty training and opened her own beauty salon that catered to the requirements of black people. She also launched her own beauty products and became an entrepreneur in her own right. She came into prominence as an activist when she refused to vacate a seat in a theater that was reserved for white people. Although she was charged with tax evasion, since she was sold a ticket for a cheaper seat reserved for black people, she gave rise to a movement of black people who fought for equal rights. <laughs>